asking directions. That's right. Like, okay. Hey everybody, we're back and it's Kate with Kate.TV. And as we're here in the Roger Smith Hotel, uh, besides Kate.TV, I've been involved in many different things. As a matter of fact, the first platform that I ever did was a site called I'm Gay.TV. So I've always been, you know, one of the biggest things I like to talk about, whether it be like a movement or grassroots or how you get a movement together, is the fact that uh, people talk about, you know, that's social media and that social media is able to bring people together with community and talking. And, you know, I kind of like to talk about the Sports Square Day. The Sports Square Day was online, and, and yes, a group of crazy kids down in Tampa Bay were able to do that. Um, but um, guess what, guys? An offline type of thing? I want to share a story with you. I was um, involved when they actually voted no on Amendment uh, 2. Unfortunately, that passed. Kate.tv was involved with that, as a matter of fact, very much so, and very upset that it happened. Well, in California, it was Proposition 8. So as people may or may not remember, with Proposition 8 is that there was a lot of rallies and a lot of movement. People were very upset, and rightfully so. So people contacted me and wanted to know who was going to be taking care of it. So um, anyway, so... Here we are. <laughs> so, so, so here we are, and long story short, I just want to talk about this movement type of thing, because they called me up, and I'm like, I was tired, I didn't really want it. But within three days' time, guys, not three weeks, within three days' time, we went from actually having 250 people show up in St. Petersburg, Florida, to be part of what's called Impact. Uh, so, but here we are with Deborah Brown, and she's... Bowen. I'm sorry. Boop, bit. Bowen. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's Kate with a C. Bowen with a B. Bowen with a B, and I'm Kate yeah. with a C. Bowen with a B, and Kate with a C. Anyways, yes. So That's here cool. we are, and uh, so she, we're just talking about the marriage situation, and we're talking about what how she's been involved. I'd like to have her share a little bit more about that. Again, conversation started for hotel, Roger Smith Hotel, and a tweet up, 140 conference, and now we're talking about this. So yeah. share with how that went down. Well, actually, for me, it all started the first time I ever ran for office because the guy I was running against had um, tried to keep the local gay and lesbian association from using the park. Hmm. And I made it a campaign issue. Uh, you know, I mean, it's discrimination. Right? That's right. This is like Amen, 92, sister. right? You know? Right. And so, you know, I've always voted yes. I've always supported all the civil rights issues. It's just a non-issue for me. I'd rather lose my seat always than, uh, than have to vote no. God love you. On something that is personally just means so much to me. So, you know, it's amazing what the movement has wrought in the last 20 years. You know, when people got discouraged, like by Prop 8, I'd say, just think about where we are. You know, in 92, we were having a discussion about just discrimination, never mind rights. Yeah. But um, we did when we had marriage in California for a while, and we will have it again eventually, you know. But um, the very first day it was legal, I married my minister and her partner. <laughs> uh, my minister, Lindy Ramsden, is the um, legislative advocate for the Unitarian Universalist Church, which is one of the first churches to advocate marriage equality. Um, she and her partner have been together for more than 20 years. So her partner was a nun. Yeah. And I asked Lindy, well, you, you married all these people all these years. Well, how did it feel? Yes. And she said, I just always assumed that it was something for everybody else and not for me. So they came up to my office in the balcony with the Capitol <laughs> Dome behind us, for sure, <laughs> and their son, and I married them. Yeah. And, um, and then the next day we had a big marriage in the auditorium the Secretary of State's office. There was a big party out there to, to celebrate another wedding. And, and another one that I did, probably the one that was like the hardest for me, was some dear friends who I, whose civil commitment ceremony I went to in maybe 95, I married them legally. Mm -hmm. And I could hardly get through the ceremony. I, you know, I was watching them, they've been together for so long, and I helped see He's a judge now. I helped him uh, get elected to the school board as well as my gay man Fantastic. in Redondo Beach in, in the 90s. And, so I look at things like that and think, you know, okay, let's just keep going. You know, we have a lot of setback, but, you know, times which people are changing. So, yeah. you can only hope this will be, be set out. right. That's right. Yeah. You can only hope by being out there and talking about it or whatever. As my, my partner and I, Marty, uh, we celebrated 12 years. Um, Congratulations. Right? We were able, we have a civil union. It's so funny. I'll share this with you. This is one of these kind of crazy things. So every once in a while, I'll say to people like, this happened yesterday. I'll say, oh, I'm really blessed that Marty, that, you know, I can have insurance because we're a civil union up in New Jersey. Now, can you imagine a straight couple saying, oh, I'm really blessed to have well, I mean, the whole thing's crazy. It, is. Yeah, it really is. But it, it will change. Okay, we gotta wrap up here. The arc of so justice bends, bends towards what's fair and right. 
So that's yeah, right. Out there. Amen. Amen. Yep. So, anyways, it's KaitlinKate.tv with the wonderful Deborah Brown. She's the Secretary of State of California. You're gonna get it right, Kate. It's, it's Deborah Bowen. Otherwise known as D Bowen on D. Twitter. D Bowen on Twitter. And and the thing with Kate.tv, 